There is still nothing to choose between Glamorgan and Leicestershire at the halfway stage of this intriguing LV County Championship game at the Swellick Stadium in Cardiff, where batting remains fairly tough. Leicestershire began the second morning on 37 for one in response to their host 278 and Ned Eckersley was bowled by Craig Mishader in the second over. Like so many batsmen in this contest, Eckersley had made a start and got out and that pattern was to continue for much of this day. Mark Cosgrove on his return to Cardiff played brightly in partnership with Matt Boyce who put in a solid performance to have his side on top against the county who came into this match on the back of three straight wins. These two added 64, so the score read 104, when Cosgrove was somehow held at short leg by Ben Wright for 38. A wicket worth looking at again in slow motion. It left Andrea Agathangalou to help the total along to 138 for three at lunch, the deficit at 140. Boyce fell on the restart just after completing a 50, Michael Hogan winning the LBW. But Agathangalou then added 33 more runs for the fifth wicket, taking his own tally up to 42. Which is where his innings ended as he was bowled by Mishada at 181 for five. Nile O'Brien and Tom Wells then took the total up to 222 and it appeared that the visitors would earn themselves a rare first innings lead. This pair adding 41 for the sixth wicket to leave their team only 56 runs behind. But before T, O'Brien was strangled down the leg side by Andy Carter for 39. While Wells on 17, Edge Graham wanked to Jacques Rudolph before the last three fell quickly as Leicestershire were all out for 253. They trailed on first innings by 25 runs, but then both Will Bragg and Wright went for ducks with only one run added to Glamorgan's advantage. However, Colin Ingram, who himself was out without troubling the scorer's first time out, just about put his side on top before stumps were drawn at the end of another fascinating day of Red Bull cricket. He made 38 and with Rudolph carefully compiling 14 at the other end, Glamorgan went to bed on 64 for two and that now has them 89 runs to the good going into the second half of this match. The third day will now determine much more as to which team will take this game, a positive result one way or the other very likely, with the weather set fair in South Wales for the rest of this contest.